this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. So I'm working on my book. Um, I'm going to make a little, I guess I can call it an album, but I'm going to utilize this one, I believe, for the front of my cover. And um, I went and asked Mr. Crafty which one he liked. He likes the one with silver better than the yellow. So we're going with the silver. Um, so what I have done is I'm going to do a front and back cover and then I'm going to make pages. I'm going to be using my disc cinch to make the to make the binding for this. And so I'm thinking that this should go fairly quickly once I get the hang of everything. So um, I'm going to go ahead. I've already got this ready for the cover. This paper right here, it come out of the photo play collection that I showed in my last video, School Days. And so I'm going to use this one. This is the only page I have that's got the school bus on it. I had already used them before. Um, so I'm going to use this on the front and I think it'll be super cute with this layered up over here. I think it'll be cute. So I've already done one of these off camera and I already matted the back. I'm going to put that to the side and I'm going to show you how I did this. So you need a piece of chipboard and I am doing mine five by seven. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I've already got myself a piece of paper here and I'm just gonna, and I've already scored it at an inch on two sides. That's just what I do. Um, that way I can try to get my stuff even here. And I've already got some tape, of course, back here. I'm gonna get this peeled off. And I'm gonna try to layer the, I'm trying to get this laid down. here just like this and then I'm going to use my trimmer and you could have trimmed this ahead of time if you want but this is just as easy I'm going to go ahead I've kind of got it light up lined up there on the one inch I'm going to cut that and then I'm going to flip it around line it up again on my one inch okay so now all you're going to do is you're going to take your paper and go ahead and get these folded up and you're going to miter the corners and I just use this a right angle that I have in my stash. It's created by, by Darlene Brewell. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. It's Darlene by heart and she is on Etsy. That's where I got it and I got this like two years ago. So you don't need this, you don't have to do this. Um, you can just cut the corners. I just had it out, so I decided to use it. So, but yeah, all you're gonna do is angle your corners and I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a line so I know exactly where to cut. Or you can eyeball it, okay? And so now all I'm gonna do is take my scissors Now I've already got that ready to go. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tape and I'm just using what I've got laying out here. And this is a half inch, I believe. And I'm gonna put tape on each side. You can glue as well. I didn't glue on the other one, it turned out fine. side okay okay so there we go I'm gonna go ahead and peel off all my tapes Just gonna take it. I'm gonna 
Close this forward. You can add glue if you want, but I'm going to do my two long sides first. Okay. And then I'm going to do my end pieces. So I'm just going to kind of fold that in a little bit. And I'm going to pull that up, and I'm going to need a little extra glue for this one. I'm going to pull this. And I'm going to take my bone folder and get it pressed down. Okay, and I'm going to do the other side. Just kind of take it, see that part of the sticking out, just kind of move them, kind of push them in a little bit, adding glue. And pressing it down. So there is that. So let me see what I did with my piece of paper that I already had cut. I get to mosing around here. Oh dear, I think this is it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a piece to the back. And this this chipboard was 5 by 7 so what I did is like uh, 4 and 6 eighths by 6 and 6 eighths. And I just left a little bit on each on each side. Now I'm going to glue this down. The way this is already matted. If you do not have this cinch disc um, by We Are Memory Keepers that I'm going to be using, um, you can always cut yourself some holes and you can use book rings to do the same thing. So don't think just because you don't have one, you can't do this project, because you definitely can. Pressing down. Okay. Okay, so there it is. Now I got my back, got my front. Okay, so I've got those both ready. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this matted on. As you see, I added the white to the back and I'm going to get it matted on because I want it centered even though some of my holes are going to go over here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go and use this tape. centered okay there we go isn't it so cute I love that let's get this pressed down really good Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get ready to punch my holes, okay? So, I'm going to start on one. Okay, so now we're going to start working on putting our holes in our cover. And I, this is my first time to use this, but what I have figured out, it's great to make a template. Okay, so I went and made myself a template. This is seven inches, so I figured out exactly where I need to put my holes. Okay, so what it says on here is if your size, which mine is seven by five, so I'm gonna go on the seven inch side. If the if it's a whole number, you're gonna put your guide on A. Okay, it says a whole number or eight or seven eighths inch, okay? And then if it's a in if your number ends in three eighths, one fourth, or one half, you'd put it on B, and C is five eighths and three fourths. So I'm a seven inch, so that's a whole number. So I'm gonna put my guide on the seven, or I mean on the A. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna line it up. 
I'm gonna turn it so I can see it better. Make sure you've got it flush up against the edge there. And now I'm gonna put, and let's see how well this is gonna do with chipboard. There we go. Okay, that took a little muscle, but there we go. Look at that. Take out the guide. I'm gonna stick it back in here so I don't lose it. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna line up these little holes and there's a little pink thing right here and you'll be able to lock in one of your last holes. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna lock in, I'm gonna go over here on that second one. I think that look will look good. Or the third, let me try the third one. Okay, I'm logging that in. Now it's in, make sure it's pressed up flush up against there. I'm gonna stand up again and punch my hole. Lift this up and now I have my holes. Perfect. I like that. That looks great. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the front. The pages won't be as hard because they are um, gonna be thinner. And, okay, so I'm gonna grab the one that I did for my front. I'm gonna line, put my guide back on for A. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this pressed up in here. The best that I can stand up again out of my chair. Okay. And then I'll line it up. And I'll line it up. I think with this this one right here. I can see it. Pressing that up in there. I think I'm gonna go over one more. Press down. It's a little tough because I've got lots of layers. There we go. Okay, I took a little muscle with uh, like one, two, three, four, four pieces of paper and some chipboard, but it worked. And there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead, put this off to the side. Now I've got my front and back holes. Okay. And here I go. And I think I see one issue that I did is I um, put my holes on this side and my paper is now going to be upside down. So I'm going to have to um, either leave it and cover it up or cut myself another one. We'll see. Okay, so let's go ahead and Decide how we're going to fix our little cover really fast. And what, what I'm going to use is I have these Happy Planner discs. And, and I wish I wouldn't have hit that. I hate that when I make a mistake. Or, let's see. I do have these discs that um, came from We Are Memory Keepers, and I think I'll use those, and I think I'm gonna go with white. So, and this is what it ends up looking like, see? So let's see, hopefully I'll have enough white ones. I'm just gonna pop these on and see how they do. And look at that, see? They went on just fine. So what you're gonna do is you'll put these on, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna try it out and see how it works. But you're gonna put that on put that on and um it'll be your binding. See how it isn't even coming off? Okay, this is gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pull that off really fast and put those to the side while I put the decorations on the front. Okay, so I'm going to use this school bus. I know I'm going to use this one. And I like that. It's so cute. And I'm going to 
I think I want to put something underneath. Maybe a strip of white or something. Or some, just something. Maybe a piece of silver. Just going underneath. I think I'm gonna put that centered and I think I'm gonna cut that a little smaller because it's gonna be obstructing my little holes. I'll hold it still. Okay. For now I think that will work. I think that'll work. Add that little strip to give it a little something here. Okay, I do like that. Or let me see if I should move it down. Yeah, I kind of like it down. So, I could stop it right here, and I think that's what I'll do. I'll stop it right there. And let me just grab a pencil so I'll know where to cut it. I'm going to put it right in here just as a decorative piece. I'll use tape. Okay, I didn't get my tape all the way over, so I want to make sure this is glued down good. my piece right there okay press that down really well it just gives it a little bit of something underneath okay so let's see how that's gonna be just like that and I think I'm going to find, let's see if I've got some kind of stickers or cut aparts or something like that to add here. So I've got some stickers. So I think I'm going to go ahead and I'll put this here. And here's my sticker sheet. I could use this one it says star student I kind of like that yeah I like that okay so I think I'll do that and I need to layer this up on some some paper here so I'm thinking that I might put this one on some red got a strap got some scrap here I'm going to put those, I'll put them separately. And grab my, my trimmer. use this and I could put star student I 
I'm gonna have to bring my bust down just a little bit, but that's okay. I put star student here. And I think that's gonna need to be popped up on some white too. Go ahead and do that. off a little bit it's a little bit long okay so this is where it's gonna go star student got the little bus love the bus yeah so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna get the bus glued down down the star students gonna go like this and I think I should pop that up on a little foam tape trim that. So I want to make sure that my foam is not hanging down. Okay. So student and star. Oops, I can still see my foam. There we go. And this one's going to go right up here. Star student. And look how cute that is. That is so cute. And I might come back and add like some little jimmies or something. You all know me. It isn't complete without a jimmy or two. Um, let me see what else I have on the sticker sheet that I might want to use. I might... Yeah, I think that that's cute. I'm going to leave that for now, and I will come back and see what else I need for the front. I'm going to go save my school days here that I had cut. And so this is what it's looking like so far. So I'm going to fix this one, and I will be back. Okay, y'all, so um, now I'm going to keep going on with this album. I'll be honest, this is my lunch break on the next day. Um, but um, this is what it's looking like. The little discs that I'm using, they are these little small happy planner discs that I got on scrapbook.com. And I like the fact that I had yellow ones. 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put lots of different papers in here, but I have this kind of paper in my stash and is the Hello School Days. I'm not really sure of the brand, but I got it on Amazon like two years ago. And I thought I would do a page for every grade. And then I'm also gonna add some regular lined paper and so forth and maybe cut aparts and a few pockets or whatever, just not too much. Um, but anyway, I've already, I've already, um, Put all my papers on my disc except my last few um, and so I have ninth grade or tenth grade 11th 12th and then college which I can't see anybody in college using this but I'm gonna go ahead and include it just in case so what I did is I measured um, I measured a template up against my paper and this paper is six and three-fourths or maybe a little, like a little bit less than that. Um, but I'm gonna do six and three fourths, or actually, let me make sure. Let me grab my, let me grab my punch board, because I wanted to tell you correctly. Um, actually, yeah, six and three fourths. So, whenever I, look on the guide and it says if you have anything in here that's like a three-fourths you would use C but whenever I what I did is I made myself a template and I put my template up against like right here and kind of centered it and that's how you can see I had made a little line right here of where I wanted it and then I just went and I punched them according to that so it kind of didn't even follow up with the instructions that were on here um, Maybe it's different if you're for your inside pages, I don't know, but I know that when I use the guide for A, it actually starts working out just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna just do two pages at one time, and I can see right here where my first hole is going to be. So make sure if you're doing multiple papers, you get lined up. Okay, now that I've got that done, I'm gonna move it over and I'm gonna line up my end hole here. Actually, I might go over one more. Make sure they're even. I think. I'm trying to make sure that this is all lined up correctly. Okay, there we go. So now that's all I'm gonna do. And there I go. And then I'm gonna punch my last two pages. I'm gonna put my guide back on A. It just worked out for me to use A. I am new to using this little gadget, so bear with me. And here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna line this up. Go. So now I've got these pages cut. And so all you're going to do is you want to see how easy these things pop on the little discs. All you're going to do is you're going to just kind of pop them on. And so you can put quite a few pages in here. I might end up saving this one and put it in my craft fair in one of my journals because it's cute. Or I might like send it to my my niece or something like that. So there we go. So now I've got all my pages. You can decorate them as you want, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put basic papers. So you can see how full it's getting already. So now I'm just gonna stop and I'm just gonna cut myself some more papers and, and so forth. I might do a pocket, um, we'll see. I might put a pocket here. Oh, and I think I hadn't told you this, but this one, remember, um, I had cut, punched this on the wrong side and it was upside down. All I did was put a piece of paper over it because I'm gonna probably put a pocket up here anyway and they're not even gonna know the difference. So that's what I did. So I'm gonna cut um, some cut aparts and some different little things like that and I will be back in just a bit. Okay, so I just added a few papers in here just to show y'all what it would look like and see how thick it's gotten. I think this amount of papers for these little um, discs, 
I think that's perfect. You don't want to go too big on them. So this is kind of what it looks like. So on the front here, I'm going to add a little pocket. I did use my scrapbook.com nested pockets die. And so I'm going to add a pocket on the front. The one I'm using is the second to the largest um, die. I'll see if I can link these below. So all I had to do was just fold the sides and I'm going to use my glue. Hopefully my glue is, because I left it kind of upside down last night. So I'm gonna add glue on three sides. And just add a little pocket in here. All these old kiddos, they're going back to school now. My grandkids, they went back, two of them went back Monday. Monday? Yeah, Monday. And then two of them went back today. Okay, so there, I got myself a sweet pocket. Let's see if I can find a little cut apart or something to put in there. Mm -hmm. Let's see what I can find. I don't really use the back to school paper very much, seeing as I do have, I have grown kids. So let me see. I had a few cut aparts cut early. Okay, so here's a cut apart here. I can just utilize one. I like the school day, days memories, so let's cut this one. There's that one. You can, as you see on the back of this one right here, it was the cut aparts. So you can add a little pocket, something in the pocket. If you want to add, here I have one more. Let's add it in. Pocket. So then what I did is you can utilize your cut aparts and cut, and they're smaller, but you can just make sure, just line it up where you would like it and punch your holes. And then I've got this page is like a bus stop and it's just like like little strips and I thought it'd be a nice nice thing to do. And then I added some notebook paper. I just cut it to size of all my papers and punched my holes. Got another cut apart here. You can add more pockets in here. I've added um, notebook paper for doodling. Got another cut apart. Here's a larger four by six cut apart. And then here's all the papers I put back here that pictures could go in or so forth. You can do so much with this. The nice thing about this is, is you can just make this your own. You can just make it as little or as much as you want. I love these little, I thought I wasn't going to like these little discs, but I do love them. Um, I think everything looks really, really good as far as the way the discs are on with the chipboard. So, so far that looks good. Love, love, love my bus and I think I'm gonna see if I can put one more little thing on the cover. Okay, I was gonna add a little star. I don't have like a red one that's already pre-cut. I have a silver and now that I look at it I don't love it as much. So I think maybe I'll just use some of these little stars that are on my sticker sheets. I might just put those. Just a few random ones. And I think I'll call it good after that. I think this is a super sweet little project. And like I said, if you do not have this, the machine to make, put the disc holes, punch yourself holes and use book rings. And you, um, you will have it. It will be, you'll be able to do this and it will be so much fun for you. And, oh, that's so cute. I'm gonna see about, um, I like this one. You are awesome. I think I might put like some random stickers going across here. I love it, love these. I love anything that it encourages someone. 
And these right here can be utilized as well, but I'm gonna hang off on putting those. And, you know, on the other pages, I've got one that says first day of school, so you could go back here. And then the preschool, you could have the first day of school. Just so much you can do with these, so much. Uh, how about teacher's pet? There we go. So that is it. How sweet is this? You can add bookmarks. You can add all kinds of stuff on here. Um, but yeah, it's just super, super cute. If you want to add something on the back, you can do that as well. And look, I think I might do this. I have a sticker that's got a bus. And I think the bus will actually be perfect on the back. And there he is. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will again link the die below that I used. Again, it was a Scrap Diva Designs um, school bus die. I love it. And um, I'll also link the little, the cin the cinch disc um, that I got from Scrap, from, I got it from Amazon, but it's a, it is a disc cinch We Are by Me We Are Memory Kippers. I'll see what I can link below for you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I'll talk to you soon. Love you guys. Bye.